What's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's a Saturday. Kind of bored. Ain't got much to do. So, I got the itch to rip. Gonna rip three more cellos of Prism. Uh, Target. Uh, everything I get is pretty much from Target these days since I don't have time to, like, go out and, you know, card hunt, you know. Uh, like like people used to do <laughs> when the pandemic was on. But uh, Target has actually been putting out a ton of NFL Prism. Um, a buddy of mine uh, called me, I believe they drop it on Tuesdays, and he told me, hey man, you know, there's blasters of NFL Prism on Target's uh, website, and he was over able to order like 25 or something like that, or 24 of them. Um, usually they were, you know, I know for a while they had been limiting to like three per order. Then you had to wait 24 hours. Well, they didn't do that this time. Uh, you could order, uh, you know, make an order, then go back in, make another one, go back in, make another one. So with that being said, this past Thursday and Friday, when Prism hit, you know, Walmarts again, I think it's the second week that it's hit Walmarts, there was actually a lot of it left on the shelf. Um, which is, you know, it's the first time that's happened in like two years that people, you know, weren't just completely and totally scooping it up. I even had some people call me like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm over here. You know, there's a lot of prism. Do you want any blah, blah, blah. And I'm kind of like, mm, you know, I'm good. Um, I did get my fanatics megas, which to me was, you know, is probably the best, best, one of the best you can get besides okay, getting a hobby, of course, right? Because at least that one was like a lotto, you know, you're going to assume that they didn't print as many of those Fanatics Megas as uh, as there are going to print the other Megas, right? And with that being said, are they just going to flood the market from this point forward? Which is something I've been saying about, about Panini for a while. The demand had gotten so high, so on and so forth. Um... That I, and then they lost their licensing, right? They lost their licensing to Fanatics. So I think like another three years or so. And then Fanatics is going to take over. There's not going to be a Panini anymore. So when that happened, I, you know, I kind of mentioned to a couple of other card collector friends of mine, like, hey, do you think that they would just flood the market? Of course, try to make as much money as they can. So are we finally starting to see that now with this drop of Prism? Because like I said, they have been printing and dropping a ton of it. So I guess we'll see. Something curious that I've been thinking about. All right, here we go. We haven't gotten anything too crazy. Amari Cooper. Nico Collins. There we go. Logan Thomas. Patrick Mahomes. Brilliant. Another second one we get. I believe that is the second one that we get. So... Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Justin Fields, Mac Jones, Tom Brady. It's going to be a good season this year, I think. You know, Brady might just pull it off again this year, uh, I think. You know, there's a good chance. He's got some stud receivers. <clears throat> they added some really, really good guys also uh, for him, so... That might be a team to watch. I expect Justin Herbert to have a stellar year this year. I think this is going to be the best year Justin Herbert's going to have this year. Burrow, I'm sure that he as well is going to is going to do very very well this year. And we'll see about Mac Jones. Um, that's going to be one to watch. Trevor Lawrence, ah, eh, I don't I don't really see him doing much this year again. Justin Fields, maybe a little bit, but I think the big breakout this year should be Justin Herbert. I think this is a year that people are gonna gonna see him kind of ball out a little bit, hopefully. Antonio Gates, Zard. Speak of the man, and he shall appear. Tom Brady. I'm gonna I'm gonna sleeve him. I sleeve all my Brady's. Uh, to me, for you know, if you're a card collector, uh, anything Brady. As if you're buying stuff, you know, like oh, say you're thinking of like. Man, you know, I want to add to my collection, uh, you know, for football. I mean, really, you cannot go wrong with Brady. I mean, yes, go go for your rookies, you know. You can get some, some of your good rookies, but, uh, you know, get some good Brady's, man. 
get some good Brady's, hold some good Brady's, hold some discos, hold some low numbered stuff, things like that. Cause this, this guy is the one that's going to hold value, uh, long-term. I mean, Brady is just one of those once in a generation players, you know what I mean? So I see his cards holding the most value uh, as, as time keeps going. J.K. Dobbins. Oh, we got a silver. We got a silver for the Tennessee Titans. Ta-da! That guy. And Chase Claypool. Yeah, Chase Claypool hype. Cool looking card. We'll just paint some of that one. Oh, that silver would have been nice if it was a Mac Jones or a Jamar Chase. Still chasing Jamar Chase personally as well. So, you know, I had wanted at least a decent Fields card. We got that the last time. I remember that one. I'd like a, I'd like a good something with Jamar Chase. Very much Jamar Chase. I need a little bit of Jamar Chase. Guy's a little baller. All right, here we go. Last of the fat packs. Then we'll get into our bonus packs. Per use. Mosley. Uh-huh. Young blood. Sort of got another silver in here. Anthony Miller. Yep. Come on, DJ Moore. Julio Jones. There we go. There we go. Getting a little harder to pronounce these guys' names. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Not a rookie. Is it Tua? No. Will Fuller. Will Fuller. Well, two silvers and there you go, Terrence Marshall. Two silvers, kind of cool. Um, no big players, no Mac Joneses, no Fields, no T Laws, uh, no Chases, no Herberts, no Burrows. So <clears throat> let's see how these will do. Hopefully. There is a decent hit in here. From uh, from money point of view, I mean, I think those packs are, I think for three, it's like 50 bucks, right around there, 50 bucks for three. So we've opened three packs. I can tell you, we, I don't think we've come anywhere close to $50 of cards. So hopefully there's something in one of these that at least breaks us even. You know, and that's another thing that when they, when they raise the prices on all these things, you know, it became a lot harder to get your value back from buying these, you know? Because, yeah, I think, I think Prism uh, was $9.99, you know, a couple years back. Jumped up five bucks. Jonathan Taylor. It's a nice card. Take that. Oh, very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. I mean, I'm sure it's not like a super high dollar card, but I will say, like I said, just hold on to something like that because I promise you that one day this card will be worth something. Oh my gosh, I don't want to show you all the next card yet. I don't want to show you all the next card yet. I'm going to move it to the side. I already saw it, but I'm not going to show you guys. Nice hit on the next one, guys. Really, really, really nice hit on the next one. Uh, you're going to see it right now. Definitely uh, an investor card. Uh, this next card that we just pulled. Brady action, very nice. Here we go. You guys ready? Boom! Trey Lance. Very, very, very nice little bonus pack right there. Super good bonus pack. Look at that. That is a nice card. That is a nice, nice card. Um, two, two solid red, white, and blues on that one bonus pack. Very, very, very nice. 
and we will take that. So we got two now of, you know, the, the investment quarterback cards, or you would say, with the Justin Fields and the Trey Lance. So we're missing T-Law. We're missing uh, Mac Jones, you know, and those are the other two that you would want to get. Uh, Zach Wilson as well. I'll throw Zach Wilson in there as well. But look at that. That is nice. That is nice. All right, Odell. You're going this way. Let me get these a little bit more in focus. There we go. There we go. Good deal. Brady and then our old fields in the back there. There we go. A little something. A little something. I will take that. I will take that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here we go. Hopefully, hopefully these... These packs are going to be just absolute ridiculous fire. Sean Alexander. We've got Justin Jefferson. Okay. Another solid player right there. Another solid player. And then for the Chicago Bears, a rookie. Gow. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Khalil Herbert. Man, that would have been nice if it was another field, huh? That would have been nice if it was another field. Khalil Herbert. That would have been cool. Watch this. I'm just going to pin this leave. These two real quick. We got one more bonus pack to go. Um, did we hit our $50 already? I'm going to say between that Brady and, and that Trey Lance, we we're probably kind of close, if not if not there. Um, so, you know, pretty good, I'd say. So far, when it comes to the money aspect of it, I think, I think you know, it's a good little rip. I think you should be happy with it. Here we go. All righty. Raheem. Got Derek Brown. Yuck. And last but not least, it is that way. Kenneth Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell. I want the Jamar Chase one. I want the I would love to get the Jamar Chase uh, red white and blue. I mean, I could probably just buy it on eBay. I'm sure it's not going for, like, ridiculous amounts of money. But, but oh, well, there it is. So, for sure, uh, we did at least pull one of the quarterbacks you're looking for in the Trey Lance. Very, very nice right there. Number 333. Doo -doo -doo. And psh, I'll take this card all day. I will take this Tom Brady all day. Uh, beautiful card right here. Super, super, super beautiful card. I'm glad. Uh, how's the centering on that? Look at that. That centering looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Right to left, it looks almost dead on. Top, bottom. Maybe the top might be a little bit heavier than the bottom. Not too, too much. My opinion is this card... would have a chance to to it's a little off on the back but see i don't think psa grades the back sides i think that's the different that's the difference between psa and and beckett i think um but you know this would be one that yeah i would definitely probably send in to get a grade on you know i think at worst it's going to come back a nine my opinion I don't see anything. Let me take a good look at it with my actual eyes instead of through the camera. No print line. Oh, does it have print lines? Let's see something, guys. If it has print lines, you don't see them there. Oh, it might have been on the... No, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. See that? 
Is that on the card or is that on the sleeve? Okay, it's not on the card, but it does have a huge print line going across. Huge print line going across it. And I'm gonna show you where it is. Do you see it right there? You see that right there? See it? Right there. Look at that, go all the way across his body. So, with that being said, you can see it there very clearly right there. Right there. Uh, this is like one of those cards where you would have to contact Panini and let them know, like, hey, I pulled this card fresh and look, it's messed up. And, you know, supposedly they will help you out and do something about it, whatever, whatever. I've never sent one in to do that, but seeing that, Obviously, now you know for sure it's not going to be a gem in tin because it has that huge print line on it. So now it's not even worth getting graded because they're going to see that and they're going to say, oh, no, this card's messed up. So this would be one of those cards that, yep, I'd have to send in uh, to Panini and tell them, hey, you know, I pulled this card fresh out of the pack and look, it was already damaged. And my understanding is that, you know, that they will send you something uh, for that. So, all right, guys, take it easy. Be cool. It was nice to pull it, but after the inspection, now I'm let down again. Uh, the Trey Lance looks good, but I would have really liked that Brady to be as clean as possible. So I'll let you know if I decide to send that in. I do have some other cards. I have like a Matthew Stafford checkered board that had like a divot in it as well. Uh, a couple other cards that I, I had kind of set aside that I thought like, you know what, I'm going to send them all in together and tell them, look, you know, I get these cards fresh out of the pack damaged like this. And see what see what they could do something for me. But anyway, guys, until next time, peace.